everyone my name is Aman Kumar from MinusPoint4.com and welcome to our YouTube channel MinusPoint so if you are in Merchant Navy or you are, want to start career in Merchant Navy then you must be waiting for one exam that is recruitment or a sponsorship exam of Synergy Maritime so Synergy exam 2023 notification has been released and the tentative exam dates are from 15th May to 19th May 2023 so in this video we are going to discuss the last date to apply eligibility criteria Synergy exam syllabus and the exam pattern. So let's start with Indian cadet. So in Indian cadet, the eligibility criteria is you should be born after 1st January 1997 and should have scored 60% in PCM in class 12 and in overall class 12 you should have 60%. In case of diploma in marine engineering, you should have aggregate of 60% 60, 60 here also. And uh, in English in class 10 and 12, you should be having at least 50% marks or should have completed the pre-C training or should be in third year or appearing in final semester of marine engineering or uh, also you should have 50% aggregate in your third and final year. So the exam patterns will be like uh, we will go at uh, three hours and the examination will be conducted online at the registered test center. The examination will comprise of 200 questions so 100 will be from knowledge based questions that is your marine engineering subject and 100 will be english and aptitude tests so uh, each question will consist of one mark and there will be negative marking of 0 0.25 for the wrong answer so the 100 mcq of marine engineering subject will include the all the uh, questions about marine engines marine auxiliary engines then uh, marine engineering doyle then basics in construction and naval architecture fire safety knowledge, materials and metallurgy, basic electricity and electronics and other questions in the domain area. So the question pattern will be, will, there will be two sections. Section A will be knowledge based um, MCQ questions that will consist of 100 MCQs and section B will be English and aptitude. So in English and aptitude there will be um, English que questions then that will be numerical reason reasoning data interpretation verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning will include spatial and abstract reasoning and both male and female candidates can apply and the last date to register for this examination is 1st may 2023 next is deck engine cadet so uh, for the deck cadet uh, there are two criteria so for class 12 qualified students uh, the student should be born after 1st January 1999 and should have scored 60% in PCM in class 12th and should have 60% aggregate in class 12th and 50% marks in English should have completed PC training and should be appearing in final semester exam of the course so if you are in a final semester also you can apply for this and for BSc nautical science students Final year aggregate should be of 55% and should have 50% in English. And candidate pursuing in second year of BSc Nautical Science can also apply. So, for the syllabus, will be uh, the exam pattern will be similar to Indian Cadet uh, in 3 hour duration, 200 MCQ, 100 will be from the domain area, and 100 will be English and aptitude based. So, in the domain area, it will be like uh, the syllabus will be terrestrial navigation, knowledge of navigational instruments navigation charts lights shapes and sound signals position plotting fundamentals etc then fire safety basic cargo knowledge of terms then basic terms associated with the stability understanding of common terms associated with the shapes and other questions in the relevant domain area so the pattern will be similar section a will comprise of the mcq based on your subject and section b will be of english and aptitude here also both male and female can apply and the last date will be 1st May 2023. Next is GP rating. So for GP rating the eligibility criteria is the candidate should be born on or before 1st January 2025 and after 1st January 1999. And should have secured 50% in class 10 and 50% in final year if diploma from the ITI and 50% in English should have completed the pre-c training and should be appearing in the final semester exam so the syllabus will be here uh, the 
duration of the test will be 3 hours that is 180 minutes and the questions will be 200 mcq so 100 will be knowledge based and 100 will be english and aptitude based so the syllabus will consist of uh, two sections basically here will be, you will have three sections so in domain area there will be two sections section a and section b in section a that will consist of navigation cargo handling and safety which will include general ship knowledge nautical terms and parts of a ship basic navigation terms used elementary rules of the road and buoys basic flags etc then cargo handling and storage at basic level then section b will comprise of the topics related to machinery operations works of practice and safety machinery and emergency equipment in a safe basic works of practice safety precautions during work level measurement basic electrical safety electrical hand tools for maintenance and other similar things in the domain area so the test pattern will be three sections so section a will be navigation cargo handling that will consist of 50 mcq questions then section b will be machinery operations works of practice and safety that will have again of 50 mcq questions and uh, in section C will consist of English and aptitude that will be of 100 MCQ questions. Here also both male and female can apply and the last date for registration is 1st May 2023. Next is for graduate marine engineer. So for that uh, the candidate should have born after 1st January 1996, should have scored 60% in physics, chemistry and mathematics in class 12th and should have scored 60% uh, uh, in the overall aggregate in class 12th and in case of diploma should have aggregate of 65 percent should have obtained 50 percent marks in english in class 12 for equivalent and should have completed btech in mechanical engineering with 50 percent aggregate or you can if you are appearing in the final semester then also you can apply mm, also note that while you are uh, if you are appearing in the final semester then you have to meet the uh, eligibility criteria that is 50 percent in final results so when you get that 50% final results, then only you'll get admission. So this uh, again here also the test will consist of 200 questions. So 100 will be of domain area and, and the uh, other 100 questions will be of English and aptitude. So in domain area, the syllabus will be based on BTEC mechanical engineering, mostly the gate syllabus and other relevant uh, questions in the mechanical field. So here also there will be two sections. Section A will consist of knowledge domain area and section B will be English and aptitude questions. Both male and female can apply and last date is 1st May 2023. Next is electrotechnical officers. So for electrotechnical officers, the candidates should be born after 1st January 1989. The candidates should have completed class 12th with an aggregate of 60% in physics, chemistry and math that is in PCM should have 60 percent and the candidates should have a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering electronics and communications or telecommunication or a related field or even a diploma in engineering with at least 50 percent aggregate here also the final year candidates are also eligible and they have to meet the 50 percent aggregate in final year to get selected so here the test will consist of 200 mcq questions 100 will be of domain area and 100 will be of english and aptitude so domain area will consist of syllabus including the power electronics and drives electrical machines electronics and control systems control analog and digital electronics protection and switch gear electrical and electronic measurements signal and systems basic physics and electricity and electronics so here also the same similar pattern will be followed 100 will be from domain area and the other section b will be of 100 mcqs consisting of english and aptitude questions both male and female can apply and the last date is may 1 2023 then we have trainee gs exam so for trainee gs exam the eligibility will be the candidates should have born before 1st january 2025 2005 and after 1st january 1999 should have scored 50% in class 10 and 50% in English language and should have completed certificate course in maritime catering of minimum 6 months from a DGCI approved institute or in the candidate can have completed degree, diploma or certificate in catering food production of minimum 
six months from government recognized institution. So the exam will consist of 200 questions, 100 will be of domain area and 100 will be of English and aptitude. So in domain area, the questions will be from food production, food and beverage service, housekeeping, food safety and hygiene. And the section will be aptitude test, including English. So here both male and female can apply and the last date for registration is 1st May 2023. The last is for DNS scholarship exam. So in DNS scholarship exam, you have to uh, the candidates should be born before 1st January 2006 and after 1st January 1999. Should have secured 60% in PCM in class 12 or equivalent and uh, overall 60% in class 12. Should have obtained 50% marks in English in class 10 or in class 12. And should have passed class 12 or equivalent and should be appearing in class 12 exam. So if you are appearing in class uh, class 12th final year in the year 2023 so you are also eligible to apply provided you fulfill the criteria that mm, uh, that you get 60% uh, in PCM 60% overall aggregate and 50% in English so here uh, here also the question will be divided into two sections 100 will be your domain area and 100 will be of English and aptitude so uh, in this case uh, the uh, domain area should consist of the questions based on CBSC or ICSC syllabus which will include questions based on physics, chemistry and maths from approved syllabus of CBSC or ICSC board and the other will be aptitude based questions. And now coming to examination fees, so uh, the examination fee for all the exams is 1750. 50 so 1750 plus GST will be your examination phase for synergy exam now coming to study material so on our channel you can visit the channels playlist we have uploaded uh, for previous year uh, in synergy exam 2022 we have uploaded multiple uh, uh, videos uh, relating to the uh, logical reasoning here you can see a number series is there and logical reasoning part one part two so you can go and visit to understand what kind of questions are being asked and here you can find the spatial aptitude also and then we have uh, for tme we have the technical domain area also so we have covered centrifugal form tapet clearance and other important uh, questions that are repetitively asked in the synergy exam and here you can find numerical reasoning and logical reasoning uh, playlist as well so soon we will be starting a quiz for Synergy Exam 2023 on our website minusfind4.com. So till then uh, you can go to, uh, and check out our playlist and uh, we'll keep you updated in upcoming videos and we'll try to make new videos. And if you have any doubt you can mention in comment or if you want us to make any video on any topic please mention that in your comment. Thank you.